when you create a database, set it up so that valid data can be entered. I'm going to open this table in design view. Now here in age, we want to set it up so that a user can only enter a value from 14 to 25. If they enter a value that is not in this range, a message will appear. Over here, validation rule. That is where I'm going to set the rule and here at validation text. I'm going to enter some text that will only appear if a wrong age is entered. Now to get the right age entered, or the correct value entered, it must be from 14 to 25. Greater than or equal to 14 and less than or equal to 25. And if the incorrect value is entered, that message should appear. Enter a value from 14 to 25. For lesson fee, validation text has been entered already, not more than 150 rand. Now we need to enter the validation rule that goes with that text. Less than or equal to 150. I have not entered an R for Rand. Starting date. We must make sure that the user cannot enter a date earlier than 2017. I think the rule should be greater than and the last day in 2016 is a date. So we begin with a hash. 31-12-2016 and we end with a hash because it's a date. We don't want them to make a mistake and if they do enter the wrong date, this text will appear. Dates may not be earlier than 2017. Here we've entered a validation rule and validation text. I'm going to save this. Yes, I'm going to open this in data sheet view and I'm going to enter a wrong here. It had to be from 14 to 25. I will enter 26. There's my validation text. It must be a value from 14 to 25. 25. Lesson fee had to be a value less than 150. I will enter 160. No, there's my validation text. We're going to go to date. I'm going to choose a date that is in 2016. We know it should be a date in 2017. I have to change it. So my validation rules are working and the validation text indicates when there is an error and that is to help make sure that the correct data is entered in a database.